Hello there everyone and welcome to Farming Simulator 22 on Thamptons Barham Road Dairy Farm and I'm getting rid of you because well I don't actually need that anymore to be honest and the Staria is down here so I can actually get another Vermeer and that is you, a bale shredder, if I do remember correctly. It can hold two bales, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and buy you. There we go. And I need you as well. But not. Why yet? I don't think. So I need straw as well. So I might bring down the telehandler as well. I do believe it is in here. There you go. Bales. I need two big straw bales. And I am looking for the hundred and 80 ones. There we go. I could go with square. They're the same price. You know what? I'll do that. So, two of you. Hopefully, you can actually fit in the shredder. There you go. And I'll buy them. There you go. And I did actually get liftable ones as well. And can you? Yes, you can. There you go. That is good. Alright, do I need to unfold you though? I know it's actually specifically for uh, circle. Circle? Round bales! Goodness me. And. Yes, I. Oh no, I don't. Right, how do I move. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's how I move them. <laughs> awesome. So, that is brilliant. There you go. Says I can actually fit two in there, so there you go. I've just placed two straw bales in there. Ah, oh, that's awesome. There you go. Nine thousand, so four thousand and five hundred each. Then that is absolutely ooh. I don't know what it is. I need. Think I need to drink some uh, water. Bear with me, sec. Yeah, refreshing. That's why I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. My uh, mouth is getting dry. So hopefully... That is enough straw... For the two... Farms. One each, of course, for now. And I should be getting into cutting the rest of the grass this episode. Now that all the cows are placed where they need to be. Build 20 is over there. I do need to go into field 18 in a bit. Probably next episode though, because in field 18, it has got Oddish. Right, I have to actually get the name right before I slaughter it. Right, go into here, right down to the bottom. 
oil seed radish in. Basically, that is a organic fertilizer. I can't remember what the specific name of it is, but basically what you do is grow that to a certain stage and then you cultivate it into the actual soil and what it does is give your field a fertilizing state and comes down again. Yes, it indeed. Well, yep. It does give you a uh, fertilizing application. And I need to be in. Not you. Okay. This is just. It <laughs> works. By the minute. Oh my days. Really? I'm stuck. Right, I need to do a hard burn. Reverse, go on. Keep going, keep going. Now straighten up. There we go. Perfect. Brilliant. Right, get you out of the way. And I need to be in here. Here, I do believe in the middle. Put a straw, and I need to come out of here. There we go. And where do I place you in here? Hmm. Is this one, uh... Yeah, it does give me, uh, manure. Where do I go for the straw? Can't see an icon. To be in here. Oh, wait a sec. There's an icon shining. Right outside. That is the food icon. No, that is pickup. I do believe. Hmm. Well, here's to trying, shall we? <laughs> oh goodness me, this video can't get any worse, can it? Right. Do I need to turn this on? Don't think I. So I guess I just go up and then press I. Oh, here we go. And there we go. Straw! Woohoo! That is going to uh, give me manure now, as well as slurry. Unfortunately, it's not. Wait a sec. Did I get the calculations wrong? And that 9,000 was the actual bale. A single bale. Well, let's find out, shall we? And that is you. So, yeah. Oh, okay then. 9,000 each for the bale. Alright. And that, yeah, water away. That's all right. Camera angle's a bit funky. Now, let's get you and then figure out where the straw goes for you. And you lot don't need straw, neither. Nope. It's only you and you. Right. You up. 
Let's pick you up and pop you in here. There we go. Yeah, it's recognized it. That's brilliant. And now I have to figure out where to go. Shall we try this bit here? No. The gate there as well. Oh, wait a sec. Straw. Okay. Alrighty. So. Ah, now I get it. Now I get why they're actually created did it this way. Right. That's actually quite cool, actually, to be honest. But there we go. Where is it filling? Can't quite tell. Oh, it's actually going all the way to where the cows are. Alright then. Awesome. There you go. And as I was saying, if you actually look carefully here, this is the drop off point for the food, but if you look, there's the food trough there. You can't see it when you're actually driving. You have to actually look down, and they've kind of tried to seal it up with water, which is still. And they kept this uh, design going all throughout the block bits. And here is where the straw goes. So it's water. That's actually quite good, really. So, there we go. Got straw in there. So all what needs to be done now is... Getting actual total mix rations sorted out. Alright, let's go here. We're going all the way. If I can get it lined up. Reverse. And drop you off there. And there we go. That is great. Now, I'm going to actually ring row this up. And I do believe I need to get a low loader because I need to get a bell wrapper. Let's unfold you. Lower and turn on. There we go. I haven't used the actual Vermeer pack at all, so I'm actually glad I'm actually going to be using all of the actual Vermeer pack on this series. Eventually, I will be using the uh, single uh, baler. But as of yet, I don't need it because, of course, I got the mobile baler. What's in the pack already. And I had enough money to actually get that straight away. Instead of uh, leaving it. And get in the baler. Quite chuffed about that, to be honest. I'm quite chuffed. I'm actually doing this now. So I'm actually ready to go into the next field, cut back grass. Oh. 
and I need to be doing some construction work as well in there. All right, let's go ahead. The gate. Thank you. And get you in here. Ready? So you will be cutting this field. And I will be using the Vermeer mower on this tractor in the other field. There you go. Bit tricky to actually get to the edges. But whatever's missed, I'll just train edit it out. And there we go. And that is uh, a whole uh, lap around this field. Awesome. Now I just have to go up this way because I don't believe the ring barrel will be able to drop in that area. Because the cut grass wasn't able to drop there, so I guess it'll be the same for the wind rower. This is going to be silage. This is and um, I do believe the field to the left of me is going to be hay. And the other field will be hay and silage. And if I've got too much silage, well... I won't have too much silage to be honest because how much food these animals need is kind of insane. And I've picked up on a rule thanks to. Didn't watch a video, but someone did actually put it in their uh, thumbnail. And I was like, how can you do it? And I'm like, Wait a moment. I can do it. I know how to do it. And that is to be 100% organic. And if you're kind of confused about what I actually mean, I mean that I will not be buying manufactured fertilizer or anything like that. So I have to actually use what I create myself. With the greenhouses, that's totally fine. It's just basically a water container and that's it. So it's a container that rainwater fills up. So, hey presto. That's, uh, you could probably class that as organic whereas for fields fertilizer has to be either manure digestate iron gray or is a byproduct of what I do in the productions and slurry that's it if I can't do any fertilization because of the fact that I haven't got enough slurry or anything else like that, my fields will not get fertilized because that means I have to buy solid fertilizer or liquid fertilizer from a manufacturer, i.e. the shop in game. And I don't want to do that. I would like to actually do it where it has to come from me and there is organic farms out there fine they might actually buy some 
manure or uh, slurry or something like that from a manufacturer, as in another farm, what deals with it, and they actually sell in bulk to a company, and then that company sells it off. So basically, like a third party, really. But unfortunately, we haven't got anything like that in game. We have got it as mods, but I rather use what I create myself instead of buying a sell point where I can actually buy manure from. I'm thinking of ways to actually save money as well as make the farm productive. And all this yabbering is just on this small little field and I've done practically nothing. Goodness me, right, I need to finish this field off. Here we go, at the shop! And I've got the other tractor. Totally forgot I even had it. So, what do I need? I need a bell wrapper. And that is you. I am, of course, using... Actually, you know what? I could go with this. And it'll make a long line of uh, silage bales. Whereas this one, it's on the go. Ah, I wonder. You know what? It's only eight grand extra. The hybrid one is for square and circle. Why do I keep saying circles? Round bales. And they're rectangle. Quadrant bale. Goodness me. You know what? Let's do it that way. I would like to use it because I haven't used it before. So let's go ahead and buy you. Of course, 180 circle. That's brilliant. Round, round. Let's buy you. There we go. And I need to go into mowers. All the way over to you, the Vermeer. And I do believe. Yeah, you know what? Stuff it. Let's go for it. No number plate. The world setup is standard. Let's buy it. There you go. I was thinking about leasing it, but you know what? Let's uh, just go for it. Got the telehandler, so I don't need to actually do anything for the front loader. So that's awesome. There we go. So let's go ahead and get you out into the open. <laughs> um, yeah, out in the open, on the road, spirit. So let's go on this. Go. And then quickly over to you. And then reverse. Actually, I didn't realize this had a uh, crab function to it. Can I just do front steering? So, where is steering? And that is control Y. Front steering. Thank you very much. That'll do nicely. Of course. 
in the open space. I would like to try something out, which I haven't actually done yet. So I need to get lined up. Follow me there. And then, obviously, stand clear. Go into map. Click onto you. And then, all the way down here. Click on you. Great job. Go to. And then all the way up here. And there. There. Start job. Unexpected target is unreachable. No, it's not unreachable. Okay then, meet you back at the farm then. Here we go, back up the farm. So I reckon I need to place you here, temporary. And the worker should be just behind, brilliant. And don't need a worker no more. So let's go ahead and Change the colour of you. So let's put you there. And then go like that. I guess I need you to be facing that way. There's the ding. So, customise. is normally red. And I would like to actually go with uh, yellow. And let's go with... Onyx, no, too dark, and GCB, can I go JCB here, no, you know what, that'll do, and of course, no plates, perfect, I actually like that now, here we go, Kind of matches with their actual uh, Vermeer uh, mower. Alright. Now. I need to be... Over this way. I haven't actually used this mower before. I normally use the butterfly mowers with the mower at the front. Just has to be a little loved up. Can I please? What's going on here? I've well and truly got it stuck. There we go. And let's get into the actual field before I cause any more disasters. So, unfold. Is there anything else to actually uh, note? Oh, it goes to the side. All right, then. Real mower. On. And there isn't anything else. So lower. Turn on. Wow. I didn't think it was that. Wait. That far one side okay awesome I'm actually liking this means I don't have to actually go right up to the actual fence because the tractor can go to the fence and then leave the rest for the actual mower so I'm leaving myself good space to actually maneuver using this. That is just wonderful. And I know I don't normally put time lapses in videos that often, but 
I would like to actually use most of the actual Vermeer pack in today's episode so I'll be putting some in and I think this is actually the perfect time to actually put one in so I can get this uh, grass cut Right, I'm just getting set up here. I've mowed quite a bit, and you know what? It's not as big as I thought, so this will be for silage. And over here, there is a collision glitch. If you come down here, you can see the water changes. And about here, it doesn't actually reach the edge. And this bit here, the tractor went over it nicely, but the mower got stuck here. And I couldn't move at all in that area there where the grass is. I had to actually, I think, there you go. My character, I'm actually walking forward, and it's not walking forward. So this is where collision is. I mean, it's not noticeable there, but there it is. It might be a post or something, but I could be wrong. I'm just actually making note of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lose grass here, but... If people don't actually know this, you can actually go on soften terrain and go like this and it will get rid of loose stuff on the ground. I'm going to go across there, so I know I'm not going to pick that up. And then I'm going to go into painting circle and I'm going to do a line like this straight across so i know not to cross that line same with this bit there you go make it noticeable there you go so i know not to cross that so that meadow grass will eventually grow back in but i just thought i may she'll mention it case anybody else is playing on here and you come across that so I've got everything here got all my tractors here as well so let's bring round this all up there we go and then I can actually do a few bales. I need to get the JCB terror handler as well. So I can actually pick up the bales and bring them over. And this is perfect, this is. I can actually turn and not worry about crashing into fence with the ring row because there's space there. This is fantastic. Because when I actually use the other mowers, I always like going to the edging. Because, of course, that is a lot of grass if you add it up into one massive volume. You're going to have one, <laughs> a lot there on your plate, and that's missed grass. So... That's why I always go right up to the edges, so I'm actually getting more. But with how many fields I've actually got to cut, I'm not worried for losing a tiny bit. It could mount up to just a thousand liters, or it could mount up to an entire bale, you just don't know. Like, for instance, now, 
it's hard to turn tightly, I uh, hit the edge. Move you out of the way, so it's not congested. Yep. And I have to figure out a way to actually do these videos because, of course, as I said in the previous episode, it's mainly going to be grass coin and grass collecting because, of course, it's a dairy farm. It's specifically designed around cows. And of course, with starting in spring, I don't have to worry about crops at all. No sowing because it's all sown in. If you go over here, I own field one, which is wheat, field two, which is grass, 21 is barley, 19 is nola. And 18 is the radish, 20 is sunflower, 6 is oats. And this is how it actually looks so far. So field 2, which is grass, is fully fertilized. But everywhere else, because I'm going for the organic state, nothing is fertilized. So mainly at the moment, I'm sorting out the cows and I do need to do that quite quickly to be honest because there's two barns without any food and I'm not putting grass in there because I would like to put total mix rations in and there we go I can actually end it at this bit because I need to mow the rest I might mow the rest of this grass up in between this episode and next alright let's get into the baler so at the moment it is set to 180 and I need to lower turn on and this is the first time I've actually properly used this I used it a little bit in the previous episode just to clean up uh, the ground so I could terraform that area so I didn't lose any of the loose grass there you go first one is coming up go 100% do I need to turn on auto is there an auto one yep there you go turn on automatic drop there you go Z brilliant and now that's it go and pick up the rest Normally, this would be done with tractor, the baler. Right, let's go inside. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it's better inside. Right, let's get rid of the map. There you go. Because I can use that as the actual uh, marker. I can listen out. For the noise, there you go, back up. It's automatic drop, so I don't have to worry. Oh, that's a shame. That's a crying shame, that is. It would have been nice if that was actually the true picture of what you're seeing beneath. And you can see the actual picker picking up the actual grass instead of a uh, still photo. I can't quite get that in the middle whilst I'm actually turning. 
on a straight, there you go, get in the middle of the swath, and there you go. Don't have to worry about uh, leaving anything. That's good. And as I said in previous uh, episode, this map does actually show potential. Because of course there is a few bugs like the collision bug there, the gate collisions, you've got wide open spaces, the actual water here does resemble a pond and you can actually collect water from there. You could put extra bushes in there, extra trees in there to make it look more realistic. It's a very good starter, got a mirror. You can actually build on top of this map to actually progress further in making it better. Instead of just having it awesome everywhere. Can't really expect that, really, from uh, everyone. To actually create a map and it has to be perfect and awesome straight away. This just allows growth, really. Same as a uh, content uh, creator's channel. Me and myself. From how my videos used to be on my first ever channel, Spirit Bang, to where they are at now, there is substantial evidence there to show that I've actually grown. Of course, with how big that channel is, fine, I might not have been uh, with that channel recently because of YouTube's rules. And for my second channel, which I created, Spirit X, you can see growth in them videos, as well as, of course, the growth of the subscribers as well comments and I like to do that with this channel it's my third channel it's something different to what I normally do well all my channels are all different their own personalized touches whom shall I say And that's what I like. And that goes with mod creators, devs, everything. There's room to grow and there's actually evidence of that growth. And I like that. I like doing mistakes because I learn from it. I like watching other people because it allowed me to see a different way of doing something which I probably wouldn't have actually noticed or realised that I could do. And this is just this field done. I will actually uh, Fail the rest on the other field off camera. There you go. Right, let's put you over here. There you go. And bring you in. And I believe the bales come from the back and then slide off the tractor is. And I do believe the machine goes in the direction of where you actually place the bales. So I need to be up here. 
that will be there. So leave you there. And then go into you on hold. And that should be that. There you go. And I need to go into you. I need to drop you off. And I need to pick up bail boards. I do believe it is you. So I've got everything I need for this uh, handler right here from the get go. So I need to pick up you on this side. There you go. Lift you up. And then place you down. As I said before, first time using this. Because normally I just uh, leave the bells where they are and then get a uh, wrapper. There we go. That's the first one. And there you go. It starts wrapping. Brilliant. And I guess the randomizer doesn't actually randomize the actual uh, foil because it's just one constant foil instead of uh, multiple uh, bells and you have to actually cut the actual uh, foil this one it doesn't do that No. Second one in. There we go. Looks brilliant. That's your field is uh, small enough to uh, actually uh, do this. If it was a bigger field, I would have uh, got a trailer. And then uh, just pick these bales up off the trailer and then put them in. Right, can I get you lowered? There you go, pick you up. And then I turn. Then pick you up. Wouldn't normally do this to be honest. Go. Um no. Very tricky to actually get these uh lined up properly, isn't it? And that should be that. There you go. Got them both in. Or should I say on? Goodness me. I'm one step in front. In is when it's actually getting wrapped. So, the left one's first. There we go. And this is, of course, going to make the silage. There you go.
Um. Perfect. There we go. And there you go. That's what I mean. The machine will move in that direction each time I put a bell in now. So that's why I needed a lot of space here for the tractor as well as movement for the actual wrapper itself. And you know what? I reckon this is the perfect spot to actually end the episode. I have rabbited on for way too long. So what I'm going to actually do now off camera is mow this grass up, run row it as well as bale it. And in the next episode, I will put it all into the actual wrapper itself. And I will, uh, of course, do the same for the other field. So, thank you very much for watching. Oh, goodness me. I'm just pumped for this series. I really am. Because it's all different and all new. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, this is the end of the episode hopefully enjoyed the episode and please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel and commenting down below any ideas or hints and tips please do so and remember appreciate all and hopefully you'll see me in the next one bye